I'm a true Spanish football loving, Czech beer drinking, Italian food eating pro European and believe that despite its many flaws, Britain gains immensely from being in the EU. But the time for Britain to be bold on Europe has arrived. No longer can we stand from the sidelines sniping. We have to make some big decisions. We have to lead a reform agenda in Europe and we have to decide whether we want to be in or out. Events this week have shown that politicians across the political spectrum are reassessing their position on Europe. Ed Miliband last night was prepared to ally with Tory rebels in order to push for a deeper cut in the EU budget. Labour needs to extend that logic to push for deeper reform in Europe and to resolve the question of Britain's EU membership for a generation. Can I get a croque monsieur, please? Thank you. The British public are getting more and more Eurosceptic. And part of Europe's problem is it's unwilling to listen to people and to reform. The austerity policies of the Eurozone have been self-defeating. The EU budget lavishes money on EU farmers rather than creating growth or tackling climate change. The European Commission is elitist and unaccountable. Thank you. Politicians don't like to admit it, but it now looks inevitable that there'll be a referendum on Europe. On Scotland, David Cameron was clear that the question had to answer whether the Union would stay alive. So too with Europe. We can't fudge this. Labour should seize the initiative and push for a straightforward, in-out question. As a child of the 80s, me and my generation have never had a say on whether we want to be part of Europe. That has to change. By having a referendum on the EU, we can debate the dire consequences of Britain going it alone. Although it'll be hard, I think pro-Europeans can win. Our politicians have got to be bold and take this question head on. Otherwise, Britain will end up like me, dining alone. Mm -hmm.